Now that Pokemon Home has been released, it is now optimal for your contact making Pokemon to be female. And it's all because of Enamorous, a new genie Pokemon released in Pokemon Legends of Arceus. When you transfer Enamorous from Legends of Arceus to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, it will either have the Contrary or Cute Charm ability. The ability is Healer in Pokemon Legends of Arceus, but that changes to Cute Charm in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Contrary is one of the best abilities of all time and is usually a better ability, but as we'll show here, there are enough situations where Cute Charm is better. Cute Charm is an ability that can infatuate the enemy if they make a contact move. Enamorous is a great Pokemon and that means for the first time ever, infatuation will be a meta-relevant condition. But importantly, Enamorous is a Pokemon that is guaranteed to be female, just like how Landorus is guaranteed to be male. For most Pokemon species, a male and female Pokemon are essentially the same. So in that situation, you might as well optimize for the only situation where your gender does matter. That is, the only situation where your gender matters is your interactions with Enamorous. By making your Pokemon female, you don't lose anything, but you gain an immunity to Enamorous' cute charm. Enamorous is a relatively fast fairy type attacker with a great stat total and distribution. It's a cannon that can go either physically offensive, specially offensive, or even mixed. If you go with a physical Enamorous, you wouldn't go with cute charm. Instead, you would use contrary because that gives you access to contrary superpower. Physically attacking Enamorous with Contrary Superpower and other moves like Play Rough and Zen Headbutt will be a force to be reckoned with. But if you go with a special attacking moveset, you don't really gain a lot from Contrary. While other Pokemon like Superior have Leaf Storm, Enamorous does not have a special attacking move that benefits from Contrary. A special attacking Contrary Enamorous would only be able to actually benefit from its ability when defending against its opponent's attacks. For example, Contrary would be able to come into play versus a Pokemon using Moonblast or a Pokemon using Mystical Fire. In that situation, it would be a decision up to personal preference. If you believe Contrary would activate more often than Q-Charm, then you would go with that. Otherwise, you wouldn't. For an average Enamorous moveset, Contrary might be the better ability. It would help versus random moves like Energy Ball, Moonblast, Mystical Fire, etc. more often than Q-Charm would activate. However, there is one important situation where you would never want Contrary, and that's if you're using Calm Mind Enamorous. Enamorous learns Calm Mind, which is a great move for powerful attackers. Substitute Calm Mind Moonblast Earth Power is just one example of a moveset that Enamorous can use. Earth Power can defeat the Fire, Poison, or Steel types that try to switch into Moonblast, and Ground Plus Fairy is an almost perfect coverage move. It's only beaten by Pokemon like Corviknight or Rotom Heat. If you had Contrary, Contrary would stop Calm Mind for working and decrease your stats instead. A Calm Mind Enamorous necessarily needs to be a Q-Charm variant. With that context, it's very clear that Q-Charm Enamorous will always have a place in the meta, even if it happens that there's a lot of stat dropping moves. And again, if Q-Charm Enamorous is the only place where your gender matters, you might as well optimize for it. You don't lose anything by doing it. There are still plenty of male-only Pokemon, like the aforementioned Landorus T, that Q-Charm is still worth using on non combine variants too. Pokemon that don't make contact can be any gender, and the existence of male lock Pokemon means that it's not an effective strategy to counter the knowledge of gender. For example, if you tried to run a tract on a male Pokemon thinking that you'd fight a lot of female Pokemon, that's not necessarily true. Similarly, you would run into enough Landorus T to make a female rivalry Haxorus not worth it either. However, this is likely only going to affect singles and not doubles. Contrary is a much, much better ability in doubles. Icy Wind is an excellent and common move because it lowers the speed of both opponents at the same time. Popular Pokemon like Iron Bundle run Icy Wind, and it's a niche option on Pokemon like Fluttermane too. Other stat lowering moves are common too, like Snarl, which affects both Pokemon at the same time. Because of Icy Wind, Snarl, etc., Contrary is a much stronger ability in doubles than in singles. Calm Mind Enamorous, the moveset that needs Q-Charm, is unlikely to be as common in doubles because you'd often get more mileage from just throwing off attacks than setting up first. From a theoretical, purely optimal perspective, it would be better to be female in VGC2 for the Calm Mind Enamorous situation, but it would be so incredibly rare that I doubt people would put the effort into that. Infatuation has rarely ever been relevant before. The most recent instance was in Gen 8 NU with Sylveon. Sylveon often uses Pixelate Hyper Voice because it's stronger than Moonblast. 
but Dragon Dance Flygon started to take advantage of that by using Throat Chop and reversing the matchup. As a result, some people started using Cute Charm Moonblast Sylveon to avoid that interaction. But the main difference between Enamorous now and other abilities like Rivalry and Cute Charm is that Enamorous is a gender locked to female. Abilities like Rivalry have never been common, but even if they were, it wouldn't affect the meta because the Pokemon with Rivalry or Cute Charm would have random genders themselves, and unlike now, you couldn't choose something that would guarantee to give you an advantage. The bottom line is you don't lose anything from making your Pokemon female, but you gain a tiny optimization. What do you think of Enamorous as a whole? Let me know down below.